uh, at, when we get closer to the International Space Station, we meaning the Crew-6 astronauts, uh, they're able to communicate with the International Space Station and use a lot of the resources that are on board, including um, GPS. Uh, when it gets to a certain position, it uses relative GPS to understand uh, where the Dragon is uh, relative to the International Space Station, and that's much finer of a, of a approximation of location versus the trip up. Uh, their responsibilities will be to conduct science, maintenance, uh, they'll be doing, conducting a few spacewalks, uh, all, to, um, all to take part in the full utilization of science that is aboard the International Space Station. Once again, that is a view of the International Space, Space Station coming from Dragon Endeavor uh, using its thermal cameras to basically keep an eye um, on the space station. Um, it will um, we will be able to see some additional sensors, the views from those sensors, um, as we get closer to the space station, um, as we uh, get closer and closer to the... They get through waypoint zero. Um, they will not be stopping for waypoint one. They will continue uh, directly to waypoint two, uh, assuming everything continues to look good. We're also seeing a lot of that illumination that you're seeing is the sun. We're uh, coming into... A an orbital sunrise. So the space station right now is 261 uh, statute miles right over Germany. Right, showing the active um, usage of the thrusters on board Dragon with planet Earth rotating behind it. So we can see just how hard those Draco thrusters work to keep Dragon um, on course to the International Space Station. These are very short but strong impulses. The, the docking uh, approach of Dragon Endeavor to the space station. So there, as I mentioned before, that nose cone, you can, you can see with better detail um, why that top-down view is asymmetrical um, with that nose cone. On their to-do list for today is uh, welcoming their Crew-6 colleagues aboard the International Space Station. We're now over the Arabian Sea, 260 statute miles over in the... There's 12 of them um, basically around the side of Dragon and then the four forward uh, thrusters located around the forward hatch. But for the most part, we'll be seeing um, with pretty good views of that, of those, uh, basically those white puffs coming away from the of that uh, forward hatch. Those are where those forward Draco thrusters are. So there's four of those on top and then 12 service section Draco thrusters. Forward bulkhead Dracos are not used at this close to the... Mission copies, we've got that review in work. Mission copies, and we're in work on 1.102. Heard calls from several different locations. And Josh, there. on the big loop, just to confirm with you, is Duke with you for those MLMTC restarts? Confirm. It has a little bit of give, allows for a softer um, docking, so it's not it's not hard. Although the approach is very slow, and then as part of the docking procedure, the soft capture ring uh, starts to retract and really pulls the dragon in coming from the Dragon capsule that is on the right-hand side of your screen. Uh, it's a thermal image of that Zenith port, uh, which is the intended destination. I think Dragon got a hard disk capture complete. Beautiful view there from the uh, cameras on board the International Space Station. That is the Crew-6 capsule, as it has uh, just completed the hard capture. Docking sequence not quite yet complete, but hard capture is complete.
Dragon SpaceX on the big loop uh, for a crew timeline. SpaceX Dragon's with you. Go ahead. Yeah, due to the earlier delays, we're a little behind on the timeline, but understand crew are working through Procedure 4.400. We'd like you to focus on completing Sections 1 through 5 in order to support Dragon Hatch open. Um, we can come back for a suit uh, stowage at a later Steve Bowen, on board the International Space Station. Woody Hoberg now on board. Sultan Al Nayadi comes on board the International Space Station. And Andre Fidya. All right, David, we are set up. If you want to do one more scene check with the entire crew, I think we're in our uh, positions. Let us know how this works for you. 